Ugh, what is it, like 3 o'clock in the morning? Jeez, why am I recording? Hey everyone, this is PDB finally, finally playing Hyper 6 again. Let's go on to this uh, level here. There's a Koopa there. There's a Koopa there. Um, oops. So yeah, I've been busy lately, but now that I am done... Oops. Now that I am done finals for, at least now, I can, you know, play more, play more games, because that's the most important part. I don't think I got that. But whatever. It doesn't matter because it's not like anyone is ever going to ever do this ever with Cape ever everness ever 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 ever. I don't even remember how to do this, so we're going to. Oops, we're gonna mess up and then just die. I need to remember how to do this because this is actually a take two. I didn't get to show my take one because it took freaking forever. And well, yeah, it just took freaking forever. Um, <clears throat> but I had a nice pattern going, I just could never, never finish it. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah. Eventually, well, let me see. I think that this is what I want to do. Yeah, something like that. Only I want to keep ducking. Um, because, of course, as you are big, the, it gets kind of difficult to do jumps like that when you are big and are not ducking. So, um, I don't know what to talk about. This is sort of, I, I don't remember how to do an LP. I, I don't remember, like, uh, this is weird. This is weird, I say. Uh, it's so weird. It's so weird to be talking. Uh, I should have ducked there. Dang it. Like, the worst part, of course, for, like, doing levels like this, where I say like, like, every, like, three words, is, um, when you are, you know, doing bad, it's, you just don't get anywhere, and then you kind of don't want to make a cut, but you also kind of don't want to keep showing people the same thing over and over again, so, I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, uh, ah, come on. Well, it doesn't matter, I'm dead, like, yeah. No way I'm making it there, but I made progress, at least, I guess. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if one would consider that progress or anything. So, <clears throat> this game, I th think there are, what, like, three or four levels left? Uh, I don't know. Yes, I finally got that jump, and then I screwed it up, isn't that great? Let's just uh, fast forward until I die. <laughs> That's always the best thing to do, is just accept your fate. Um, but yeah. So I think there's only three levels left in this pack after this one. Maybe four, I don't know. Or something. I don't know. I, I just don't know how many. But that just means it's getting done soon. And I have, now that I'm done finals now, I have, I believe... I believe I have a, a death right there, but also I have about a week and a half of free time, so, I mean, that's recorded, this is recorded Friday morning at 3 a.m., so actually, right now I only have about a week and a couple days, but, you know, I, I would assume that the first week of classes is not going to be particularly difficult, so I should, I should theoretically die, and also I should theoretically have a week to record for the first week of classes because I'm not going to get any homework. Well, I'm going to get homework, but I'm not. It's not going to be due until the next week. So I'm going to say until the weekend of that week, I should be able to record. So we'll see. We'll see. And um, for the few people I just screwed up. Uh, yeah, I don't even know why I did that. Uh. That is like, I don't even know if that's possible to do. But yeah, if you do too good in this level, it's bad. Um, <laughs> because you sort of lose that thing there. Um, as I was saying, if, for the few people who actually watch my Skyward Sword videos, um, that will probably be started back up after I'm done this game, just because it's a lot easier to concentrate on a game like this. Then, whoops, well, 
It's a lot easier to concentrate on a game like this when you're not talking and also when you're not recording and also when you're actually a good player at the game, but also when you don't have another game to be worrying about. That's the most important part, I believe. Um, totally not the things that are happening right in front of your face. What are you talking about? So, Skyward Sword, if anyone actually cares, will be... Really? Really? Well, jeez, <laughs> I sure made that work out perfectly. So it's been almost six minutes here, and I've done literally nothing. Um... This was kind of expected, considering I hadn't actually played this game in approximately as long as it is between when this video was released and the last one, maybe a couple days less, since I'm probably going to upload this one fairly on time, um, I'd say within a day or two. Uh, ah, dang it. Okay, um, that was the best I've done so far. <laughs> I guess now would be a good time to cut. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. Uh, look at that. Perfect. 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 That was kind of unperfect, though. Oh, man, I might lose. Oh, no, this isn't good. Man, yeah, that part right there is the worst, because... Well, because of exactly what I just did there, I hesitated, and I didn't get the, the, the drop, so I died. Whoops. Well, there we go. I died. Might as well just do that, because I forgot completely that I should not be holding right upon exiting the pipe. I just have no idea what is wrong with me right now. I've been playing for 17 minutes since the last time, and you see how many lives I've lost since then, so it's like every life is maybe 20 seconds of just absolute futility. And it's so annoying because I can't get past this part right here. I just can't get past it for some... Like, just stupid things like that happen, and as soon as you get stopped, if you're big, you can't continue. Because it's just too hard to make those jumps if you're big and not ducking. And if you are not moving while you are ducking, then you can't make those jumps at all. So, it's just... It's too difficult, I'm already... Like, come on. That one part is just over-the-top difficulty compared to the rest of the stage. Like, once I get past that and consistently get past that, the rest of the stage is going to be completely fine. I remember it being completely fine, it's just that it took me forever and I just sort of stopped and, like, I'm dead. I, I can't continue. But, you just... The rest of the stage, after that part, if I can consistently get past that part, it's going to be fine. But that one part is just so disproportionately difficult that it does not belong right in the beginning of the stage. It needs to be... not there. Come on. Yeah, if you... Wow, really? I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> okay. Survive for the rest of the course. Because, as I showed before, if you miss that mushroom, you are dead. And there we go, I finally got it. Uh, so basically what I want to do here is get hit, and then do that so I don't have to backtrack it. Really? Really? Okay. There we go, I got that. Hey, I got that, whatever, it doesn't matter. Now look, the rest of this is, like, super easy. I say that as I am screwing up. Come on, just give me that. Uh, okay. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Because... Uh... Then go down here. Okay. Got more cannons. 
and it's all good, hopefully. Uh -huh. And you go, I believe, straight up. And I did that wrong, because I think I need to go to this one. Oh, okay. Still some spikes, but that's fine. Oh. So, uh, I believe these teleporters teleport you uh, somewhere back in the level. And where do they go? Okay, right below. So that's fine. But uh, there are... No. There are a few teleporters that don't teleport you there. Whoa. But there's still some places to die, which is the most annoying part. Because if I die, of course, then I have to start over. But I don't really want to start over for obvious reasons. I think this is the one I want to go to. I'm not sure, though. Um, maybe. And, uh... What? <laughs> what? Um... There we go. No. That's not there we go. Um... So basically... If you know how Super Mario World, um... Exits work, you know that any exits on the same screen, which you can't actually see, the uh, screen boundaries, um... Any exits on the same screen must by, not really definition, but by the programming, I guess, uh, go to the same place, so, basically, uh, if you can tell where the screen boundaries are, which you can't, um, well, that's kind of lucky, if you can, I don't, what, what, where am I, if you can tell where the screen boundaries are, then you can, you know where, uh, pretty much you shouldn't go, assuming, well, if you know where the screen boundaries are, then you've looked in Lunar Magic and you can tell which exit goes to where anyway, so I just need to make it to that place. How do I do this again? Uh, not like that. Oh. Uh, so it's not the one that I was going in. So where is it? gotta be down here then, right? But can I get down there? Is there anything down here? No, there isn't. So what the hell was the point of that? I just, I completely forget where the one that I want to take is. I'm not gonna get that. Oh, I am. Wow. That's surprising. Ugh. Give me that. <sighs> Man. I just waited like a tenth of a second more. Oh, yes. Give myself as much time as possible. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, no, 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 no. No. Ah, that's not good. I'm dead. I'm literally dead. I can't, yeah. I can't possibly. <laughs> oh, why did I fall there? What the hell did I do? Did I seriously just... I... I didn't even press that button. Like, I was leaning on... Well, my save state button, as I use a uh, Xbox 360 controller, my save state button is a uh, left trigger. <coughs> oh. Am I... Uh, why am I doing this? <laughs> like, what I wanted to do, actually, was this. Um... So as I was saying, my save state button is left trigger, and my load state button is right trigger, and I believe I was load leaning, if anything, on the right trigger, so I should have loaded the state, but I did not. So, we're going to do something stupid, and we're going to try to fly through the level again. And it certainly helps if you are actually trying. Uh, to fly through the level. There we go. Or not. Whatever. Jeez, game. See if I care. Ugh. I don't know why he wasn't flying, but it doesn't matter because there's no way I'd actually be able to do it. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll meet you back when I get to the place again.
um, turnaround fall thing on the first try, it just compounded in my death, and I'm dead, so I might as well just hit fast forward. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty great how I know exactly when I'm going to die and just give up. It's like, it's such a defeatist attitude, but it also saves time because, you know, in video games you have more than one life. In fact, in this game you have essentially unlimited lives. I don't even know why there's a lives counter. I mean, is it just there to remind you that, hey, Yoshi has a shell in his house and he also doesn't exist in this game as far as I know and I'm dead? Um... Is that really the only reason? Like, you could just give us un unlimited lives, and it would be like, Oh, hey, you have unlimited lives now, and, you know, you never have to, have to actually worry about that number in the corner. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not like, uh, it's not like the majority of levels have a super difficult before midpoint part, so, I mean, that would be the only thing that lives are worth doing, is saving midpoints. Uh, there we go. Uh. Look at us. We're gonna... We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. There we go. Okay. So now we have two... Uh, what do you call them? Things. Power-ups. And I'm dead. Because I... Pretty much because I did that. I just... It's amazing how you can just screw up like that. Uh, just... It doesn't matter at all. Well, you know, it does... Ah! That's just so bad! The one time I have a chance to do this with two power-ups, and I somehow managed to wedge myself yet again through that gap. Like... Ah, oh, I can understand it when you're small, but when you're big, how the hell does that work? I mean, I know the hitbox is the same size, but come on. And there goes the lag from getting the thing, just completely screwing me over once again. But just really, how does that... That's only happened to me now, what, three times in, what, 115 lives or something like that? three times out of that, and it just happens to happen. That's, you know, good English. It happens to happen the one time that I get here and get past that with two power-ups. Like, what are the odds of that actually happening? Like, ugh. I mean, I would assume that the theoretical odds are exactly the same. Really, just die. The theoretical odds are the exact same as whatever the odds are of me having two power-ups and then being able to jump into a hole. Whatever the odds of that exact situation happening is. I just want to get to the part where all the teleporters are. Like, seriously, please let me get there, man. I've been wanting to do that since I was at, like, what? 99 lives? I mean, obviously. Choking, just choking it all away for no particular reason. I had it there, and then I was just like, nope. I don't want to finish it this time, guys. What the hell are you talking about? I just sort of want to die here and do absolutely nothing. It's pretty great how that happens every single time, and I'm surprised I didn't get hit there, because that tends to happen when I'm slightly slower than normal. Oh, there we go. That time I didn't choke like a dumbass. Uh, thank you. That's like literally perfect timing. That's literally not perfect timing at all. Yes. <laughs> perfect. That's totally what I meant to do, by the way. <laughs> Uh, that, that, that right there is a joke and a half, just tells itself. Ugh. Really? Really? That's what I did there. Really? Really? It doesn't matter, because it's like, whatever. It's like, whatever, we're just gonna go in here. So, 
Uh, finally got back to the teleporting area. Hopefully, it does not screw me over. Hopefully. Uh, I believe I can just drop down here. Yep. Uh, okay. We're just gonna take this nice and easy. Now, I believe... I believe that I want... Whoops, not that one. Um, I believe, for some reason, this, um... Well, there we go, I got to the area I needed to be in. Um, for some reason, apparently, there are, uh... Like, the teleporter that I took to get to the place before where I ended up to the near those spikes on the, uh, left there. I believe, for some reason, it, uh, does not work every single time. And, uh, yeah. Uh... Hmm, I wonder which way I should go. Should I go... Well, anyway, let me let me finish explaining that. For some reason, it doesn't work every time, I think. Which is, uh... A problem. But... <coughs> Ow. But it's something that Haimari should know. So, you can go through here. If you go up there, there's a teleporter that leads you back. But look, this spike doesn't actually exist. So, we're going to go up here. We're going to get some points. And hooray! We finished the level! But yeah, it's... The level is just sort of flawed because it has a sort of not working mechanic half the time. I don't actually know the exact percentage, but um... Uh, look at this level. I wonder what the name is. Now, normally after playing for an hour and 11 minutes, I would not continue. But since I want to make fun of the title of this uh, level, I think we're going to go ahead and play a bit of Abandoned Memory. So let's go, Mebaby, Memaby. Oh god, five. Hey, there's a grinder. Oh god, there's also things here. But I should be able to just. Eh. The heck? Ah. So there are invisible things, and just run. And also, that wimp did not seem to really care much about actually jumping. It's pretty great. Um, so yeah, abandon Memaby. I don't even know what that could possibly mean. How the heck are you supposed to do that? Um... Also, Bowser, why do your lasers, like, do things like that? Ah, that's how you're supposed to do it. So, now that... Oh, I should have taken that. Now that we've gotten past the first level, I... Th really? I think I want to tell a story. For my life, my actual life, because this is what people want to talk about. But yeah, basically, if I don't get anything done, whoops, by the uh, time I'm done this story, I guess I'm just gonna give up. So anyway, uh, yesterday, which would be uh, Thursday, the 14th of June, 2012, for those people who are watching me five years from now when I have a billion subscribers, because you know that's totally going to happen, and I'm just making mistakes out the wazoo here. So anyway, yesterday. I uh, was going out with my friend and um, one of her friends, other friends, for uh, lunch because she is going away. She is an exchange student or something, and um, she's going back to her original, uh, what do you call it? Whoops, why, why did you not do that? Uh, she's going back to her original uh, college, and so we you know, decided, hey, we're going to give you a lunch to go away and whatever. Well, that's not the important part. The, the, anyway, let's just say because she's um, like foreign and whatever, she's somewhat naive for, to the ways of the American people. So um, we're on the subway going to wherever we were going, and um, as you know, as college students, we have to take the subway everywhere. That's the only only way to get things done. Um, anyway, let me like actually talk about important things. So, we're on the subway, and this guy comes up to her, and he's like, why did that guy die there? He's like, um, yo, um, I'm like, or, she's like, are you from the, are you from the university that we go to? And she's like, yeah, you know, not knowing that you probably shouldn't talk to creepy guys on the subway, but, um, he says like, yo, I'm, I'm a modeling photographer or something, and I think you'd be good for, uh, you know, this stuff. Uh, why don't you call my, uh, number on this 
card here that I'm giving you, and, you know, we'll talk. And, you know, she takes the card, you know, being the nice person she is, and also, which is what you should definitely do, well, I mean, like, really, you should actually, uh, always, you know, you should, o I'm trying to think, um, you should definitely always, you know, just agree and smile with, you know, crazy people on the subway, because, you know, the subway is full of crazy people, like, you know, people selling freaking DVDs, illegally copied, of course, you know, there are people who just ask you for money because they're poor, there are people who make videos for YouTube based on video games, it's pretty, pretty crazy how things like that happen, and, um, so basically, any, any, you want to just pretty much, ooh, that guy does not throw bones, uh, you basically just want to, you know, smile and nod, and then just sort of walk away, and, uh, yeah, something like that, um, <laughs> but, uh, that's basically what you want to do for any sort of person that you see on the subway, that talks to you and you don't know them, but anyway, so, what the hell you want from me here? Uh, well, I know what you want. Ah, there we go. Anyway, um... Oh. So, anyway... What, uh... He, he, he says all that, and she's like, okay, yeah, sure. And, um... Yeah, I just wanted to say, like, that's really freaking creepy. That someone's, you know, who's like 40 years old or something is... You know, talking to a 20... 20 year old college student, and oh god. Um, this isn't good. I think I'm dead. I, I legitimately think I'm dead. But yeah, it's just sort of creepy. A creepy story, fun story. You know, fun for certain... That's not water! <laughs> so it's just sort of creepy, you know? Just some guy comes up and says, Yo, you wanna be, be in a modeling shoot? And it's like, dude... You probably shoot porn. No, I'm not talking to you. Get the hell out of my face. But, uh, th that's not the end of the story. The end of the story is that there he actually, the company that he works for, apparently, uh, actually has a video up on YouTube, and it's quite hilarious because, well, it is. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, the video is just really, really bad. Like, uh, it's... Modeling is very, very loosely defined by this guy, I must say. Um, yeah. It's not... It, it's t Modeling to him is taking pictures of people, basically. Like, there were no... No anything there. It was just like... Uh, well, maybe... <coughs> I mean, I certainly don't really want to give these people any publicity, but... I mean, it, 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 there are videos, just, there are videos, and it's pretty bad, so, like, uh, creepy guy asking my friend if she wants to be a model, basically, and I was, of course, sad that they didn't ask me, like, come on, I mean, I'm just so beautiful, why? <laughs> oh god, I can't even say that with a straight face, um, but yeah. Just a little tidbit of information, you know, if you ever wanted to stalk me. Because, you know, that's apparently what a lot of Let's Players, you know, get. Just lots of stalking and lots of stalking. I think I'm done right now. I think, like, I've played badly enough for the past... <coughs> Ow. Past ten minutes, that... And, you know, I think my cough is getting worse and worse, so... I should probably stop talking soon. It's been an hour and almost twenty minutes now. So next time... I might have more interesting tidbits of information, but probably not since... Oops, I kind of wanted to get lives. But probably not since I'll probably be recording this fairly soon after this one, like a day or two after. So, well, I mean, I don't even know how far we'll get. It's only a five-point difficulty level, but, you know, the last few levels have also been like five points or something. So anyway, yeah, might have other interesting stories, but probably not. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I think I'm done. This has been Petey Boo. Playing this game. And that level. And next time, 
we'll abandon our Meba Bees. See you all. Bye. Bye.